Welcome to the basics of Excel. Our objective today is going to be able to get you somewhat familiar with just the basics of how to use Excel. Uh, nice cool tricks about filling down, adding, multiplying, dividing, your basic skills right there. There's a lot that you can do with it, but then we're just going to start off with the basics. One of the goals is that you're going to have a spreadsheet that's going to actually be able to figure out the miles per hour of how long it will take you to go a certain distance. Uh, what you will notice on this one is, is this one I'm going to show you here is going to have like some common numbers going down. So what's going to be cool is just instead of hitting the button over and over again, we're just going to fill it down. We're going to show some calculations on this one, how to format the cells a little bit, and to get the time. So you'll soon be getting in Excel and giving an example. This one's for, I believe, probably a mile. You know, if you're going 40 miles per hour, it's going to take you 90 seconds to go that distance, uh, 5,280 feet. You know, if you're going 60 miles per hour, that's the cool thing right here. It's going to take you 60 seconds. So if the old thing of how much further, going 60 miles per hour, it's going to be about a mile a minute. So let's get into the basic practice right here. And I'm going to show you how to add some numbers. Let's say that your teacher wants you to write the numbers 1 through 100. You could do it the old-fashioned way, 1, 2 three but here's the cool thing uh, let me get everything lined up center for you first and then maybe possibly bold everything just so the numbers stand out a little bit more now I don't really want to do that so anytime I use a formula I have to type out start off with an equal sign so you notice how I'm starting with an equal sign here one thing is is I can take that previous number and see how it shows up as a2 and go plus one it does too. Now it doesn't look really much different until I hit the formula. So this says A2 plus 1. This just says 3. But if I grab the corner, I can pull it down and I can fill all the numbers in. You're like, okay, yeah, I could do that. But here, what happens if I want to go to a different number? It just automatically changes it for me. All right, maybe if I can hit it a couple times. And that will change all the numbers for you. So that's the cool thing that it does. You can also increase by a particular number. Let's say I'm starting off with 10 miles per hour and I want to go up by maybe increments of 5. Oh, you know what? It only changed the first number. So I've got to overwrite it. Don't go deleting. Just pull down. That's cool. Got like multiples of 5. Exact same thing with subtracting. Maybe I want to start off with the very fast cars going 80 miles per hour and I want to worry about them maybe going 5 miles per hour or less. So I'm going to hit equal sign. I'm going to select that one. Or I could actually type in C2 if I want to. And I'm going to go minus maybe 5. And it's going to go 75. And I will just pull it down. So you can imagine being in elementary school and this doing all your math for you. Multiplying. You've got the options with your number pad. Or right above the 8, if you shift, is just this little multiplication symbol. So let's say I want to do my multiples of, you know, all these numbers over here. Why don't I multiply this number by 2? So I have to hit an equal sign. And I can hit this number. And I can go times 2. So it basically has doubled everything. And if I fill down, this has done all your multiples here. Oh, that's cool. So we're going to times a positive and a negative times a positive. Okay. If I want to divide... Maybe I'm going to take my previous answer here, and I'm going to divide by 4, maybe. I'm going to hit an equal sign every time I do a formula. I'm going to hit this cell. I'm going to divide by, I think I said 4. I can do that. Now, if I forget to do that, sometimes I will do this. I will go maybe D3 divided by 4. That just types up as is. It doesn't really give me a formula. So I gotta make sure I use the equal sign. Tilt it down. Now if I want to do minutes per second, there are some times that I can do this. I can have it do 60 times 60 because I want to say I think there's 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. Then I can use this number and I can fill down. Sometimes I need to do just the same calculation, like feet in a mile. I think there's 5,280 feet in a mile. So I'm going to get this decimal. And I'm going to fill it down. 
Okay, so I just took you through the basics of the multiplication, subtraction, addition, division. Also, sometimes you are going to get things that just aren't going to look right. So one of the things that's going to happen common is, is go to format cells. When you format the cells, one of the easy things to do is go to the number. If I only want two decimal places, wait a second, that came out to be a zero. I don't really want that because look, I got the three zeros here. Let me go back to format cells and maybe let's go to five places. Okay, so that's a little bit. So it's going to adjust my answers right here. So if I go down a little bit, it's going to change it a little bit, which is not necessarily a problem, but sometimes with your formulas, you might need a little bit more accurate. So you choose the spot that you think is comfortable, and then you just fill down. You could do that if you wanted to do these numbers and money for any particular reason. See how easy that is? Just look in there and now you've got a dollar sign and you get the decimals. You can also do this so that this is staying consistent. And go to format. You know what? A lot of them are going to be like, I believe, five tenths. So let's go to maybe just one place after the decimal so that it all looks about the same. That's cool. Okay. So what you're going to eventually do is you're going to have one that's going to look like this. But you're going to do time, distance, an hour, etc. So I can take you through how to do this. And also, let's see if we have one that is possibly empty. These all seem to be filled. So what I'm going to do is, I'll show you how easy this is. Maybe I just delete this. Boom. They're all gone. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it just for a moment. Okay. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about miles per hour. If you want to start off really slow, I'm going to do with one. And then if I want to fill this down, I am going to have to take an equal sign that previous one plus one so i could fill down a while i'm hoping that cars are not going past school at like 50 miles per hour but we could be doing that minutes a second what you're going to notice is is when we are doing this concept right here let me get rid of this guy oh, i'm sorry we're doing all this conversions in hours and minutes and hours and minutes. We're going to find some shortcuts here. So we're going to realize that we're going to need 3,600 here. So we're going to fill him down. Okay. Also going back and forth here, you notice right here, one mile is 5,280 feet. This is going to help cancel out the distance to the feet that you have measured out here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go an equal sign, 1 divided by 5,280, and it's going to fill us down for us. That's cool, isn't it? Distance. Well, let's set up a distance. Uh, probably like 200 feet is going to be a good distance here to, to test the cars. I mean, you could do this near your house, your apartment, and you could find out if those cars are speeding through your neighborhood. Hours and miles. Gosh, how do I do that? Well, sometimes I look at other things. I say, okay, that's going to be a decimal. So I believe I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of division here. Okay, how do I do this? An hour and mile. Hmm. Let me go back. You know what? Let's cheat a little bit. Aha, I'm going to go 1 divided by E2. So what does that mean? It means I'm going to take 1 divided by Oh, this one right here. So let me do that again. 1 divided by miles per hour. And that comes out to be 1. That doesn't quite seem right, but let's see what happens when I do it for the other ones. Ah, they're going to be decimals. Okay. And so what I'm going to do for this one right here is, is I'm going to go right away and I'm going to format my cells. And let's get it to be maybe like 6, 7 places. That looks a little bit better. Minutes, minutes, minutes. Gosh, I really wasn't paying attention. How do they do the minutes here? If I look at the other one here, 
I've got to go over just a little bit. Distance doesn't have it right there. Let's go with the time here. So equals. I'm basically going to be multiplying all these except for the E. So if I select this guy, I go times this one, times here, times that. Huh. So if I'm going one miles per hour, it's going to take me this. Sometimes I get done and I'm like, this just doesn't seem right. So let's see if it looks, let's do something common sense right here. Let's fill in all these other columns right here. Let's see if this makes sense. So it's going to take me four and a half seconds to go 200 feet at 30 miles per hour. I guess that could possibly be a possibility. Notice I've got some things that I left in here. I've got to delete them. Go back and look. I'm like, why do I got a zero? I left out something. Let's see how quickly I can fix that. So this is a very, very, very quick basics introduction of this one, and I hope that this was helpful to you.